Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we have the August Elite Boom Box. We also have the High End and the Platinum Box as well. We'll open those in another video. We got a whole bunch of videos um, coming to you this week, kind of backlogged. We had a uh, kind of like an extended vacation after the National there. We went out to the Badlands and Mount Rushmore in Wyoming, and now I'm just back from that. Um, so kind of a backlog, whole bunch of videos coming your way. We've got Tops 3D, we've got the factory set release, we've got TriStar, um, autoed baseballs, hidden treasures, um, throwback Thursday. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button for me. And also when you do hit that uh, subscribe button, um, there's a little bell there. If you tap that bell, turn on your post notifications, you will not miss a thing. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. This is a 260 dollar box so let's see what we can find in here usually it's uh there's typically one really nice high-end pack we'll see what we have in there along with the other nice packs so first up we have a stadium club pack here that's a hobby pack it's been a little while since i've opened that and then we have a gypsy queen pack from 2021 we've got another stadium club pack so two stadium club packs we've got a Bowman Chrome from 2018. That's going to be a nice one. And this might be the uh, the highest highest of the high. I'm not sure what pack this is. Kind of looks like, uh, I don't even know. What, maybe we'll find out. It'll be on the sell sheet. There's a Bowman Hobby Pack in here as well. We have some more. There's a 2018 Bowman Hobby Pack, a 2020 Bowman Hobby Pack, and a Topps Finest Pack along with a One Touch to hopefully use on a multi-hundred dollar card. So let's take a look at the sell sheet here and see what this mysterious silver pack is. And uh, it is a museum collection pack, very nice. So as you know, museum collection, those boxes typically go for about, at least at my local card store, $380 or so. There's four mini boxes inside. So each pack is Virtually about a hundred dollar pack. So that's gonna be the best pack. We'll save that one for last But there's some other good ones as well. Here's all the hit odds We are gonna come away with an autograph or a relic. We do know that much from the museum collection There's the boombox social media hits and this month in August They are running a Tatis jr. Ticket promo where if you find a Tatis jr. Ticket you will be a winner So let's go ahead and start things out with some gypsy queen and see what we can find from 2021 Gypsy Queen. We've got Josh Hader on the back. And there is going to be a tear of the diamond in there as well. There's an Alec Bohm rookie card. Lucas Giolito and Bobby Dalbeck. So two decent rookies so far. There's the Tarot of the Diamond, Chris Bryant. Of course, he's now been traded to the Giants. I missed all the trade deadline hoopla because I was uh, out west. But um, it looks like the uh, Cubbies pretty much traded everybody. Chris Bryant now with the Giants has his first home run with them, which is pretty awesome. Next up, let's go ahead and do some Stadium Club and see what we can find here. About a 1 in 12 chance of finding an autograph, I do believe. Uh, two autos per 24 packs. Christian Pache. So we are getting some of the good rookies from this year's class. We have an upside down Shane McClanahan. Is that going to be an auto? No, it's just a black foil. And Gary Sanchez is the last one there. Next pack up. Hope everybody's having a very nice Wednesday. I think I'm going to have a double upload day for you today and tomorrow and probably Friday as well as we try to get caught up on all these new releases that I missed while I was out west. We've got a die cut card of Bo Bichette, so check us out a little bit later tonight. And um, I'm not sure which I'm going to do. It's either going to be the factory set, which have a special foil board pack in each factory set. We'll check those out. And I've also got the TriStar Hidden Treasures Baseballs, which I've never opened those before. Those would be pretty fun. Uh, one of those will be today. One of those will likely be tomorrow. Next, let's go ahead and try out our Bowman pack from 2021. Jeter Downs is on the back. There's Glaber Torres, who's kind of... Um, I don't, I don't want to say he's in a free fall, but he has not been good, or at least been himself for the last two years. Nick Maton, Nick Lodola, and Jeter Downs, last one there. Let's try our 2020 pack and see if we can find ourselves a Jason Dominguez. That would be pretty nice. Vlad Jr., the All-Star Game MVP. There's Jack Flaherty, Nick Lodolo, Bryce Terang. I've got to watch Vlad and see if he can overtake Otani for the uh, home run lead because he's got an outside shot at winning the Triple Crown this year. 
It's going to be tough. Triple Crown is when you lead the league in batting average, home runs, and RBIs. I think he's currently leading in RBIs. And last time I checked, he was maybe a point behind Michael Brantley for batting average and uh, just a couple home runs behind Otani. All righty. So we've got our best packs for last. Um, how about we do our 2018 Bowman pack and see if we can't find the Luis Robert first Bowman. There's Ozzy Albies. That is a nice one right there. Rookie card Harrison Bader. Chant Siska, Luis Gohara, and Miguel Andujar. And we have something here. It's a Crack Dice Blaine Enlo. And it is not number, but a cool card for sure. Steve Gonzalez. These are going to be all the prospects. Ian Anderson and Eric Pardino is the last one. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do our finest pack now. This is a one in six chance of having an autograph. Let's hope we can find one in here. There's Aaron Judge. We've got a Casey Mize rookie card, Buster Posey blue, and unfortunately, we don't have the autograph. It would have come right there. Goldschmidt and Flaherty are the last two. So we're down to our last two. It's the Bowman Chrome Pack along with the Museum Collection Pack. Let's see what we can find. Kind of disappointing return so far. I don't even know what our best card is, guys. Is it like Alec Bohm rookie card? Uh, man, it's been rough, but... Um, we still have the last two packs. Christian Robinson first is our first card. We've got Rogelio Armenteros. There's Luis Arias, Gary Sanchez, and Chris Archer. So it all comes down to this. We are going to come away with a hit. It is going to be in this museum collection pack. Let's go ahead and see what we can find right now. There's a Joey Votto on the top. Cal Ripken Jr. We've got a sketch card of Bob Gibson. I was watching the 1999 uh, All-Century team. Bob Gibson, along with so many other great pitchers on the field at Fenway Park. Just watching that today as I was doing some packages. Jackie Robinson. And now it's time for the hit. I'm hoping that it's an autograph and not a relic. Or maybe it'll be an autograph relic. So let's go ahead and see. It looks like it is a twin rookie. So it looks like I am doomed to get a Brent Rooker. Let's see who it is. It is going to be Brent Rooker. So that's just the way it goes. Um, not a very good box. Um, that's, you know, anytime you open up a pack or a box, it's always like a lottery ticket. And uh, that's one that, um, that's a lottery ticket we'd like to throw away. But luckily, um, you know, in terms of baseball cards, when you do hit a bummer or a stinker of a, a box or a pack, you at least get to keep the cards. You don't have to throw them away. And who knows? Maybe one day Brent Rooker will be a big-time star. There's not a lot of value to this card right now. It is numbered, by the way. Didn't even check for that. 301 out of 349. So that'll do it for today's video. We ha do have these other boom boxes, though, the high end and the platinum. Maybe we will strike some uh, gold in there. You'll have to stay tuned for that. Uh, like I said, we have a lot of other videos. My second video of the day will be uploaded a little bit later tonight. We're celebrating my daughter Olivia's 10th birthday today. So uh, probably a little bit later on, uh, maybe like 10 p.m. or so, I will film that one and get that one uploaded. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. And I'll see you a bit later for our second upload. And if not, I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.